Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today we continue our little experiment where we test out three different styles of assembling jigsaw puzzles. I'll leave a link to the first video in the description below, but basically I assembled this rainbow feathers using the full flip method. Not my favorite style of puzzling, I will admit. Now, I randomly chose to do the water drop today, and I don't know which method I'll need to use. It's on this little tag on the back of the box. There's basically the full sort and build as you sort. Now, obviously, once I reveal which method I need to use on the water drop, I'll know which one I need to use on the ribbons, but I'll try not to think about it or plan ahead. So what do I need to do with the water drop? It's the full sort method, full sort. So I must fully sort all the pieces as best as possible before I'm allowed to assemble the jigsaw puzzle. With this one, I'll go by color, subsort if they have lines from the water drop, and just do the best that I can. Now, during the voiceover, I'll talk about what happened during the rainbow feathers build, as well as my friend Nicole has these exact same three jigsaw puzzles. The brand is Arrow Puzzles. It's from their colorful series, 1000 pieces, water drop, rainbow feathers, ribbons. She's assembled two so far, the feathers and the water drop, and she's given me her times. Now, she did not change the style the way she puzzles. She just puzzles as she normally did. So I'm gonna use her times as a baseline because I would like to know if whether or not the style and the technique affects how quickly or how slowly I can assemble the jigsaw puzzles. I realize it's not a perfect science, it's all for fun, but I think it's really cool to make a comparison. And the more I think about it, I do think I'm going to try to find three 500 piece Robinsberger jigsaw puzzles to try to do this experiment with, but with more of an image. Similar styles, obviously I don't wanna do the same image over and over again, but something very similar. Do the three techniques at random, and see how that turns out. So that'll probably be another experiment to do later down the line on the channel. But for now, and for the love of puzzles, let's do the full sort build on the water drop. Right from the start, I just felt like I was in better control with this jigsaw puzzle. Now I realize I did not optimize the use of my table and the pieces did kind of get in my way, but it was okay, I dealt with it. I just felt by looking at every piece and organizing them, I was already familiar with the puzzle. I felt I knew where the pieces were, where I wanted to move on to next, and I, I was just in a better mind space. I did start a bit with the border and I did the purpley colors first because they appeared the, the least in the image. Now I'll let you watch the time lapse and I wanna talk about my friend Nicole. She's in Australia and she has the same three jigsaw puzzles, same brand, everything. I asked her if she would just puzzle them as normal. She tells me that she always does a full sort and then she just assembles. She does time herself, I think, just for fun, just for curiosity, but she doesn't like speed puzzle. She didn't speed puzzle these. So her time for the feathers was six hours and 30 minutes. For this one, the one that I'm doing now, the water drop, it took her seven hours and 18 minutes. So that's a difference of 48 minutes. The water drop took her 12.3% longer than the feathers. So I realize we may puzzle obviously differently and stuff, but it's a baseline. It's a good baseline. Therefore, if we used her numbers and if we wanted to predict how long it would take me, since my feathers took me four hours and 51 minutes, and if the water drop would take me 12.3% longer, we would expect this one that I'm doing right now, the water drop to take about five hours and 27 minutes. So the question is, if I do it faster, is it because of the method that I'm using? What if I only do it a little bit faster or a lot faster? Or what if I do it a lot slower? I just think it's so curious. I can't wait. Well, obviously I know. <laughs> I know how long it took me. But, you know, I'm excited for you all to see how long it does take me and your thoughts and opinions. So do you think it took me longer. Do you think I'll be around that five hour and 27 minute prediction based on Nicole's time? Now the next one is the ribbons. 
that's the one that I'll have to do the full build and sort. And Nicole's gonna do hers as she normally does, a full sort and just puzzle away. I've asked her to time herself. So I really appreciate her doing this little experiment with me. It's so much fun. Now, this water drop image, afterwards, I said to my hubby, I said, oh, it felt like such an easier image. And he goes, well, do you think it actually is easier than the feathers? And I was looking at the two and I thought, no, maybe not. I just, I felt it was easier. But looking at the feathers, I would have thought those lines in the feathers, by the way, I believe, thank you, Joe, he taught me, I believe they're called parallel barbs. So hopefully I said that correctly. I would have thought those would have helped me with the feathers jigsaw puzzle to do it faster. But I felt this one was easier maybe because I was just, I felt more in control, if that makes any sense. I felt there was a flow, I knew what was doing. The area I'm working on now is actually quite tricky because where the water drop hits the main part of the water, there's lots of blended colors there. It's everything from pinks, purples, yellows, greens. So that little, although there's lines in the water, it was a bit tricky and I had to refer to the poster a lot more. But I just loved it. And at the start, I did start on that bottom purple corner and I got a bit stuck. And I've learned now I'm doing better. Stuck, move along, go try something else. And that's why I went to the other side and I did those reds and oranges first. I did have to do a lot of subsorting by piece shape just because, I mean, there's not that much difference in the image. So you'll notice throughout that I do subsort by P shape, but it was so easy to see the variation in colors in this one. It's a beautiful jigsaw puzzle. It's a beautiful image. Again, these are arrow puzzles from the colorful series. Um, I buy them from Kmart. I know some of you in North America are going to be surprised to hear that Kmart is actually a store that's very popular in New Zealand and Australia as well as online and it kind of reminds me of a target level kind of store. Yeah, so I believe they're all shut down in, in the US and Canada, but no, Kmart is a go-to place here. So I'm, I'm getting close. I just, I really enjoyed it. So what do you think? It's hard to see my timer there, but I'm at what, 4.13 now? 4.13? That's not close to 5.27. How much longer is it gonna take me to do these last few little blue pieces? What do you think? That was so much fun. That felt like so much more enjoyable than the feathers in the full flip method. I definitely felt I enjoyed the puzzle more, I enjoyed the experience more, and I felt in more control. So it only took me four hours, 23 minutes, and 15 seconds. Compared to the feathers that took me four hours and 51 minutes, this one was 28 minutes faster. I feel that that's a significant enough difference it's about 9.6% faster than the feathers, that this method of full sorting, at least for me, was better than the full flip. Now, I also think that this is particular to color gradient puzzles that don't have a lot of detail. I think when I do the ribbons, which is the last one I have to do, and this one will be the build as I sort, I worry that there's not too much I'll be able to actually build. I'll do my best, but that mostly I'll end up sorting a lot of the pieces, especially this pinky purple area. I think that's gonna be really tricky. When all is said and done, I have a feeling that I'm going to prefer the full sort method to any of these methods for a color gradient jigsaw puzzle without a lot of detail. I might be able to build a few things, but in the end, that's, that's my prediction. What do you think? Leave your comments below. I also think, and I mentioned this last time, if I grabbed like three 500 piece Robin's Burger jigsaw puzzles with an image on it, the busier the image, the better my build as I sort technique would work. Larger solid color areas, better to fully sort and kind of build some of the transition pieces. I don't think I will ever perfect the full flip method. I know that tends to be like, especially at speed puzzling competitions, the method, <laughs> but I just don't think I can do it. I just can't focus and 
the clutter and the pieces everywhere. It's just not for me. But do you have a preferred method? Leave your comments below. Let me know. I do want to make a note about the arrow puzzles. Obviously, they're very shiny puzzles. I will forgive some things in a puzzle, depending on their price. This only cost me 10 New Zealand dollars. And we spend a lot of money on jigsaw puzzles here in New Zealand. I think Nicole said she only spent five Australian dollars for it. So in that case, I love the images. I love the piece cut. I didn't have a problem with false fits. None of the pieces broke. They're a bit thinner. The only thing I dislike, they tend to be shinier. I will forgive the shininess for 10 New Zealand dollars for sure. So I'm excited to do the ribbons. I want to jump right in, but I have to go work on the Educa puzzle a bit more. But I'll get to that, and that video will come up soon. But I can't wait to see what happens. I'm, I'm so curious now. Will I be faster than 423? Will I be slower? Will I be slower than the feathers? Who knows? Ooh, so much fun. And I want to thank Nicole for being in on this experiment with me. I can't wait to see what her time is and just do all the comparisons. Oh, goodness. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!